reporting that uh, the crew can see the tether and uh, see the satellite. That it's beautiful. This view uh, showing uh, the satellite. Again, uh, just moving into sunrise. 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is this a lot of stray light. And it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Quad is trying to do a, a quick, uh, good job here adjusting the cameras. Copy that. You know that description by the crew. This is uh, the tether in the satellite. Uh, the satellite with 12, approximately 12 miles of tether still attached to it. Columbia and the satellite are now just passing over the west coast of uh, northern Africa. The two spacecraft are now 90 nautical miles apart. Controllers for the satellite that did have communications uh, with it to, during the close pass uh, between Columbia and the satellite. Houston, that's a much better view, uh, a lot more contrast visible. And how wide uh, does that tether appear to be? We, we, it seems to resemble a much wider strand than we'd expect. Can you describe which way the, uh, the satellite is visible on that uh, strand? Satellite uh, now 100 nautical miles. I try to adjust the focus, but I can't get better than that. Okay, Claude. Thank you. Let's zoom in now. I'd like to take a look at the future, if there is any at all. Uh, well, there's always some. Uh, do you see mankind moving into space? I think it's the only way that he, uh, the only uh, possible solution. I don't say that they will, but uh, it's the only way I think for them to go. There's no place to go except up and out. To move out, to move into space, uh, is, is there any um, mutation necessary for man, or do you think we're equipped to go? Just I don't to... think we're equipped at all. That's the point. It would require a biologic mutation quite as drastic as was involved in the uh, shift from water to land. Mm -hmm. 
but the uh, the possibility, the air breathing potential must be there before uh, the transition can be made. Otherwise, it's simply suicidal. And psychologically, well, uh, any um, any physiological mutation is going to involve psychological, profound uh, psychological changes necessarily. And do you see that taking place here already? Uh, it's very far away. Well, no, I don't think it's very far away at all. We know that if people, um, if the astronauts uh, should stay in space, say, for five years, they'd lose almost all their bones. If you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And uh, a skeletal structure has no, uh, no use in a weightless environment. So the end result would be something rather like a jellyfish, I imagine. Okay.